welcome back to our Outer Wilds stream. So I think this time I have a few things I want to try. Uh, one thing I want to do is I want to experiment a bit more with the, uh, what's it called? Uh, White Hole Station. Because I remember there was a stone on the White Hole Station that we can't really use anywhere else. So I'm wondering if we can use that if we teleport back to, well, essentially the only planet we can reach from the White Hole Station currently. Honestly, I don't know if later on the White Hole Station gives us the option to teleport other places, but for now it just seems it's tied to Brittle Hollow. So let's check that out. And also, I want to try to deal with the, uh, what are those bastards called? The anglerfish. Uh, because, yeah, that seems to be where we need to go next, is we need to try to get to the vessel. You brittle hollow? Nope, that's dark bramble. Ah, uh, brittle hollow is over here. Well, autopilot, take me to brittle hollow. Now, just to see how this works, I'm gonna go to brittle hollow. I am gonna land our ship next to where we come out when we use the teleporter from the white hole station. I'm going to leave the ship there, and then I'm just going to jump into the black hole. Which admittedly doesn't sound like the greatest of ideas, but... Uh, at this point, I'm really not sure what else we can do uh, with the white hole station, frankly. It's essentially the last idea I have about the white hole station for now. Yeah, here's where I wanted to go. Because these are the teleporters that get us back. And I think there's a place over here to insert said stone. Uh, tablet, whatever. Yeah, it's right here. And we've not found a tablet in this area at either of these. That we could actually plug in. So I'm hoping that means... Uh, we get it from that other station, but I have no clue. So let's find an opening into the planet and do what has to be a bad idea. You haven't done real base jumping until you dive into a black hole. <laughs> Ow. I mean, yeah, you can't get much more extreme than that, can you? Yeah, I think this is where we start, where the cracks in the planet start forming. And if not, we are at the gravity gun, which we know, uh, which we know is right above where we need to go anyway. Ow. Don't need to give myself a concussion while doing this, but okay. <laughs> That's very true. You would you would be doing that jump forever. <laughs> uh, let's see where is my entrance? There it is. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to handle the Anglerfish, I'm kind of thinking we'll just take it really slow. Because I'm wondering if they hear our thrusters coming online whenever we change direction. I don't know, though. The Anglerfish are kind of, as you observed last time, Stahor, also welcome to the stream, by the way. Um, there seems to be a discrepancy with those dudes. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, because there's no way to use it here. Oh, you think it might be another version of, uh, it might be a branch of Dark Bramble? That could very well be it. 
But yeah, like I was saying, we have this stone, but there's nothing to use it on here. So, and we know this often gives you, it either gives you the projection thing where you can just see a, uh, what's it called, image of another planet, or why is the music playing like it's already, like the sun's already about to go supernova on my ass? Hmm. But yeah, as we know, it lets us kind of, I guess, astro project, whatever you want to call it, to another planet. But it also sometimes brings up text. Now, before we go over there is where I think those items were. I am going to refuel. And heal. There it is. Okay. So we have these two things in here. Let's check this one first. But yeah, that that's a good point. We have seen... Oh. Nice. Uh, we have seen... Um, Yeah, Dark Bramble does extend everywhere, so that's actually a pretty good idea. We might actually have to test that out next time we're at the White Hole Station. Except I'd rather be there with my ship, so I think I'll pilot my ship all the way into the Black Hole. So there is text here. Raimi and I reviewed the records you sent, Poke, and they appear to show Nomai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. Oh... As I've already told Raimi, these measurements can't be accurate. How can a Nomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Poke, as Pi is confident the reading is inaccurate, she's kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. An update, Poke, the High Energy Lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once, you need to see this. Uh oh. I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? Uh-oh. So yeah, they're... Okay, they're messing with stuff <laughs> that maybe they shouldn't have been. Alright. I believe... Okay, that's Quantum Moon Locator. I believe that knocks out uh, the White Hole Station, finally. So we could try to go to the High Energy Lab, but I kind of want to just take care of Dark Bramble. I think the only thing left to do in Dark Bramble is the um, is the vessel. Also, let's take a look at at our map. Does Dark Bramble? Oh, Dark Bramble's orbit is far enough that it would actually come that close to the, yeah, see? It would actually get really close to the interloper, uh, not the interloper, but the White Hole Station. So it might be the same um, planet. Yeah, I wanted to check that before we went out there, because I wasn't sure what kind of orbit it had. Okay, so if I remember correctly, it was the red dot. However, for all we know, we shouldn't go straight towards the red dot, as there's probably a ton of anglerfish. But it gives us plenty of time to test out 
how we deal with it. Yeah, if we listen, it sounds like our thrusters, even the ones where I'm just slightly correcting course. So I think it's a matter of just setting up the momentum and going. Although, I don't know if this works. Because these anglerfish don't play by... Like you pointed out last time, that there's a lot of discrepancies in how they work where the lights are supposedly territorial thing, but they're also blind. Problem is it with this is once we're through, how do we know which one's the vessel? Because we didn't follow the main path. Now that I think about it, that's our problem. Yep. Soon as we hit our thrusters, they come for us. And I don't think they'll just sit there still if we um, run into them, basically. So the question is, do we go out in our suit? Because I didn't realize there were that many angler fish in there. Holy hell. All right. We can get around them. <laughs> I hope. Like, we have to get around them. There's no other way around it. If we want to get to the vessel, we have to get around them. Part of me is wondering if we shouldn't leave the leave that part um, for last, considering it's kind of a pain in the ass to navigate. So, what if we have to come back? Again, I would appreciate not going directly into the sun. I have to navigate without using thrusters? Okay. Which is really weird because all the buttons I have, all like both uh, thumbsticks, use thrusters to an extent. Like I used the button to, like the thumbstick just to alter direction. And that thing immediately reacted. Hmm. I wonder if I could move him out of the way with the um, scout launcher. Just launch that. Maybe it'll get them out of my way. Because there is a tight cluster there that my ship is not going to get through. Oh, just drifted past the fish. 
But how? Wouldn't we just run into them? I don't imagine they would ignore us if we just... Now, we know, we know there's an angler fish in here, so I should probably just drift as easily as I can. Maybe we're just coming through a very bad side. Because the first time we went through, there was only one angler fish. This time, there's like three of the bastards. Yep. It almost looks like they're randomly placed as well, so... Okay. That's what I just tried there, but I guess I didn't do it lightly enough. Well, we can keep experimenting. It's fine. Uh, I'll try it. Just enough that it doesn't show on the meter. Okay, I'll have to test that out. Also, you know, might be a good idea to put on a suit. Let's target Dark Bramble. really weird that I can't target it until I'm up there. Okay, yeah, that's going to be rough. So we know Dark Bramble's going to be this way. I do not trust autopilot this close to the sun. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to experiment with that because... Yeah. Yeah, we'll get in here and I'll experiment with trying to feather the thrusters. It's definitely an angler fish right there, I think. I'm just using a standard uh, Xbox One controller. Ah, 
think I hear something fucking breathing. There's an anglerfish just right under me, isn't there? Uh huh. Crap. Yep, no, he got me. <laughs> uh, that one I made a mistake of hitting the... I accidentally hit the wrong button and did the whole match velocity. And that triggered him. We would have made it just fine if I hadn't have done that. Yeah, we can try that. I mean, it makes sense. Try a higher enter, uh, enter velocity. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. We'll drift through that initial area much faster. Dark Bramble should be right there at the beginning of the day. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I really want to try to land on that sun station, but I don't think it's... I'm, I don't think you're supposed to. And I also want to try to go into one of the volcanoes. Right, let's line up. Hey, Aaron DeVore, welcome. How's it going? Well, that sucked. Keep our target locked here. Nice. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh, okay, he's close.
Okay. Nope, fuck you. Wait, what? How did that not register? Like, I just flew right through his... I just flew right through his little tentacle thingy. <laughs> I really wish we had a rear view mirror. Or a window that I could just get up and look behind me. Oh, roll. Are those anglerfish eggs? Towards that one, do we think? Yeah, just really thick brambles. It's in the thick... I see why they want you to follow the trail, though. There's another portal. Okay.
Yeah, I believe that's the one I'm seeing. Is the one to the right, right here. Okay. Drifting past the anglerfish. Come on. If there are any more anglerfish. Which, let's be honest, there's probably a lot more anglerfish. Well, to be fair, I don't see any lights in this direction, so maybe there aren't. Oh, we're just looping through. Through portals. Holy crap. That's the one my scout came from. Oh, Jesus. Anglerfish. close Actually, that's a portal my scout doesn't come out of. Let's try this one. And yeah, if I have to reset, we'll just go to the distress signal. And we'll work our way from the distress signal. Now that we know what to do with these guys. Well, that's an angler fish.
Yeah, I think we do just need to reset. Why'd that anglerfish just turn itself off? All right, let's do this. <laughs> As I fly just down his throat. <laughs> but yeah, let's go and get the distress signal. It doesn't take long. And now that the angler fish are you know, dealt with. Well, not dealt with, but we know how to deal with them. Not a big deal. And there's still a few locations we need to find as well. Like on the rest of the planets. Like, we really need to find the high energy lab. Shouldn't be too hard, but we have not had any luck actually getting in there. But to be fair, I think every time we were in that area, we were trying to find the anglerfish fossil room. We are cutting it close every damn time. There's the quantum moon, by the way. You know... Can we just land on the quantum moon? Hmm? Okay, I have an image of you up. You can't go anywhere. Oh, there are brambles. Starting to think that maybe, oh, there it is. Oh, 
Oh, the tower left. Go nowhere. Well, yeah, look at that. We on this bastard now. Okay, Ash Twins, Timber Hearth, Brittle Hollow, uh, Giant's Deep, Dark Bramble, and the Secret Sixth Location. Like, I don't think it'll teleport while we're on the planet. What the hell? You're new. Oh, this is somebody's shuttle. I am here after watching it wander the skies for so long. I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. My excitement is so great I could combust before I step outside the shuttle. Here are my reflections. I've learned about the wandering quantum moon in school and from those who came before me. I visit each of the quantum shards and learn what they had to teach me. I am ready. Oh, okay. I will... Uh, when did the writing show up? You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of the sixth location. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. Okay. Nothing seems to be happening. Yeah. Uh, I didn't do that. Oh, we're jumping. Okay. Oh, here we are. I don't want to leave this though. So, scout launcher, you think?
I'll switch on the wall. Maybe that's it. Maybe that locks us in place, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that will not go away. Nope, that's not going away either. Hmm. This sucks. Really not sure what's going on. No, we're not there anymore. Anyway, where are we on Timber Hearth? Ah. Uh. Ooh, I do not like what happened to the ground there. Did I? From the North Pole. So I gotta wait till this tower is at the north pole of a particular planet? Okay. Oh, to north pole of the, okay, the quantum moon. Let's maybe go to a more habitable not shitty place to do this from then. I like that the moon changes. No! <laughs> I 
Oh, I should have locked the moon in place. Either way, we know how to get there now. I'm not too worried about it. Coming in. And that should have killed me, I was about to say. <laughs> All right, yeah, but when we get back to the, you know, yeah, it's not that hard to access the moon, so yeah, we can do this. Excellent. I just need to keep a imaging device. I need to keep a picture of the damn place, no matter what. Because we were there. We can get back on there pretty easily, I hope. Did our log get updated, by the way? Well, either way, we're trying to do two things at once anyway, so... Uh, if the quantum moon is by Brittle Hollow again... Okay, we found the shrine. Okay, so if we get there and the quantum moon is not at Brittle Hollow, we're just going to go into Brittle Hollow and try to find the vessel. Keep averting our eyes. Okay. Well, we have stuff to do here anyway, so let us continue. Okay, to the vessel. The hell are you doing, Corgi? Dog is one of the most vocal, I well, noisy, I would have to say. I've ever seen when he's trying to get comfortable. Adorable as hell, though. God, I really don't like this sound, though. Jesus. Uh, the Urban Warfare one? Yeah, I haven't checked it out, though. I don't know if it adds anything aside from just... 
you know, um, new maps and stuff. I haven't looked into it in much detail. be interesting I think my biggest issue with not with like Battletech right now is I just don't have the time like for whatever reason my save is just gone and I don't really have the time or the patience <laughs> to replay that grindy ass campaign over again <laughs> but who knows I might at some point like, I hated the grind to get trying to get to the you know, better missions and the decent money. Yeah, it was it was horrible. Game itself was fantastic. Aside from that, though. Oh, that's where we want to go anyway. Don't even need to go all the way to the distress signal. The Raven is a cool mech, though. Yeah, I gotta give you that. Whoa, 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 game. Yeah, we've already listened to that. Let me just follow the duplicate signal now. You can actually see the vessel. These giant shards of rocks make me very nervous. Empire at War with the 2019 graphics. Ooh. Now I like the sound of that. Yeah, that's what I heard. So just drift, right? Uh, I don't remember ever playing it now. I heard a lot of great things about it. Ooh, I think we might run into this one under us. Please no. No. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> oh, so it's not near any of the dots. But yeah, I had a friend who played the hell out of it when it first came out, but yeah. Uh, back when it first came out, I don't think I had a system capable of playing it. I think that was the reason, but I'm not sure. Obviously, it's been a long time.
Yep. I just wanted to wait till the breathing wasn't quite so loud. Lord, this is going to take for bloody ever. Nope, don't do that, don't do that. I was about to launch a probe to see if there was anything in there. Sneaky. This portal didn't show up. Like, this one's not expelling any light at all. Oh, you sneaky bastard of a game. Oh, I hear one. Please don't let there be anglerfish in here. <laughs> Give me one area without anglerfish, damn it. Oh, that is cool, though. Oh, wow. I think our... Oh, one of the escape pods didn't launch, it looks like. How the hell do we get into this thing? That's a lot of dead dudes. Is that a recorder right there? No, that's a light. maybe from underneath I mean, this looks like a landing pad Looking for a place where there's a puncture large enough for me to get in. I'm gonna check the underside real quick. Yeah, it's just the engine. I 
And that's where it collided. The glass surface is still in... Ah, uh, nope, it's not. in the vessel I don't know I guess the glass was broken on multiple sides all right never mind oh yeah check the puncture up top okay Okay, nope, 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 nope. Yeah, that makes sense. Kinda looks like it healed over it. Oh, where the scout landed, okay. No messages that I can see, and no openings into the vessel here. Uh, you know what? Before we go in here, we are low on both oxygen and fuel. So I'm going to return to my ship, and then we're going to come back around. Probably bring the ship, too. Well, we don't even need to bring the ship. It's actually pretty close. Yeah, I don't want to be stuck in, like, I'm pretty sure this thing is going to have those, um, emergency trees. But usually the only time we get refuel, uh, jetpack fuel is from our other astronauts from our planet. And I'm pretty sure we're not going to find one here. Oh. 
Okay, I don't think there's anything down here, but it's worth checking just in case. Because <coughs> honestly, I'd like to minimize how often we come back to Dark Bramble. Like, if I can get everything in one go, it would be perfect, because... Yeah, I don't like how slow it is to get past those damn anglerfish. I mean, now that we know the trick, it's not bad, but it's still... Whoa, too fast. So far, no scrolls or stones. Uh, what now? Oh, I think this get, this is the coordinates thing. I think that could take us to the eye of the universe. If we could power this thing on. Okay, we finally have text, please don't reset the shit yet, game. To any Nomai clans whose vessels can hear this message, it's clear the universe is dying. Hold on. I do match velocity. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now, so my clan and I believe the best option is for all our clans to stay together. If you can reach the gloaming galaxy, we found that Black Rock's suns are fairly stable and life in the star system is comparatively thriving. We live in relative safely, safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, know you will be on your own. Kana, we're making our way to you. It's good to hear from you, Bromi. We'll watch for your vessel. No! Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived, and he hasn't sent any messages. That's unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell, the disappearance of Eskel. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day, Eskel's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clans searched and searched, but found no trace. It says as their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. Eskel's clan existed, and their story was real. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Son of a bitch! <laughs> ah... All right. <laughs> so we have the coordinates for the vessel. We could get to the eye of the universe. But that doesn't resolve anything with the time loop. And we still haven't done the... Uh, what's it called? Quantum moon. Because I feel like the eye of the universe is basically the end of the game. So I do feel like Dark Bramble is like the last step they want you to take. Oh wait, hold on. Also, let's check this. Isn't there... Where is he? That we haven't been to. The, uh, the Black Hole Forge. Wouldn't we imagine that's where they were making a new engine? Because wasn't their last, uh, excuse me, wasn't their last ditch effort, let's reactivate the vessel. But they didn't have the equipment to reactivate the vessel. So I feel like it's either the black hole forge or the high energy lab that we have to go to. 
And if we have that information, hmm. There's more to explore here. Huh. I feel like maybe we head to the high energy lab and possibly the quantum moon. Because, yeah, I feel like going to Dark Bramble and activating the vessel. One, I don't know if the game will let us. Like, it seems to me the mystery that the game is kind of hinting at. Um. Oh, wait, wait, he's here. No. Son of a... Oh, fuck you, Timber Hearth. We had the quantum moon. All right, let's try to get into the high energy lab this time. Yeah, if we can spot the gravity cannon, that would be a good idea. The hell is he? There he is. You just bloody well land. There we go. Now. Get out of it. Holy shit, that was smoother than I expected it to go. <laughs> Come on, don't do this to me. Ah, down here, yeah, that's right. This one seals up almost immediately. Screw you, quantum cacti. Where the fuck did I end up? What the? Come on. Fuck, man. Like, I know the sand is pushing us down, but anytime I try to get an angle in there... Okay. 
How is there no... The sand is always pouring. Maybe I just have to wait for it to get high enough to just walk. Not that I can tell, no. Well, I'll take the punctures. Yeah, I think I just have to wait for the sand to rise. What? Oh, hey. Please be some trees. Oh, fuck you, game. Well, that's new. Yeah, I'll check, because uh, clearly we are going to die here. Oh, yeah. We're going to run out of oxygen any second. Unless we get exceedingly lucky. Holy shit, we got exceedingly lucky. <laughs> All right. Well, we are finally in the high energy lab. And I don't know that I want to mess with anything quite yet. Holy hell. All right. Records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. Raimi and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or simple machine error. Initial things first. Our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the white hole station. Uh oh Hypothesis. It is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding dark black hole. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. This is all your fault, isn't it, guys? An update. Our experiment here reproduced the anomaly in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eyes. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient. Of note, Raimi. Yarrow requests that we let him know before we reroute, reroute energy to the experiment. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Ramey and I are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical thought. Okay. I still think you guys did everything. Everything that's going wrong right now, it's all you. Now, I am going to play with all that power down there. I just want to read all these notes and stuff first. The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22-minute interval is possible. Oh, shit. 
That is, to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Hypothesis, creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. Supernova, maybe? Ramey and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We, should, we would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We'd also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be the Ash Twin. The energy is currently unavailable, you say? <laughs> You're a gas pie, oh good lord. <laughs> My pun was unintended, Ramey, so I believe it's you who's aeriform. Uh huh. That it? We hit every. Yeah, every branch. Okay. Give me the scroll. The Ash Twin Project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we use towers like the one we have on the White Hole Station to connect each planet directly to Ash Twin? Each tower on Ash Twin will lead to a different planet. Oh. We can design each tower to visually reflect the planet it links to. The Giant's Deep, Deep Tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone. Poke, Root, and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy, so we need to go to the Black Hole Forge. Okay. Okay. This door will need to remain closed for some time. Pi and I are running an experiment based on the extraordinary findings from the White Hole Station. An update, the High Energy Lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin Project. If you're here to help or even just to observe, be sure to use the Sunless City path to the lab. Because this won't open from out here? Yeah, it won't open from out here. Ramey and I will be running this experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong. So although it's inconvenient, the lab currently can only be accessed by the, la by the path from the Sunless City. Initiating, inviting sand inside would disrupt our setup and would have enormous consequences. But the door must remain closed. Okay. I'm going to go in there, but I want to see what this says. The Sunless City. Okay. All right, let's close this and play with the power, shall we? Oh, wait a minute. Are we going to have to go... Ooh. I just realized that's going to be a bitch and a half. If all these towers still exist... What if we have to go activate each and every one of them in one loop? Yeesh. Okay, so power is no longer going to the Sunless City. Uh, okay. Holy crap, oh, right. I'm not sure there's anything I can do in here right now. Yeah, that won't let me go back down, which is fine. I don't want to go back down.
Feels like there should be more to do here. Oh, oh God. Yeah, it is popping out before it goes. One doesn't seem to have a warp core, so let's let's test it. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Okay. Yeah, I really don't think it matters. That is really cool. Yeah, we can do that. Faster, dude. Okay. Yeah, it only works with one of each. I kind of feel like we might have to take one of these warp cores somewhere else. Oh god, maybe to the ship? Maybe we need these to power the vessel. But you would think, maybe I need the one from, oh, I need the one from the black hole forge. They kind of just told us that. So I get the feeling what we would have to do is I think that's what we would have to do in one loop is we'd have to try to get into the black hole forge which I have not even the slightest clue how to do that because we found the black hole forge but it's inaccessible.
Yep, we saw that. The towers on Ash Twin allowed the Nomai to quickly travel between Ash Twin and all other locations crucial to the Ash Twin project. Each tower was designed to visually reflect the astral body it links to. Problem is, is we don't see these other towers. I think we need to find the Brittle Hollow one. I mean, I guess, t oh, I guess they are here. Yeah, I keep forgetting this is Ash Twin and the other one is... Um, the other one is Ember Twin. So there's, oh, there is the warping thing right there. So which one would be, I imagine, Brittle Hollow? Because if we need to tra uh, transport quickly... Um, you know, from the Black Hole Forge or to the Black Hole Forge. I'm not quite sure which one yet. We need to find out which tower represents Brittle Hollow. I want to say it feels like it's this one. Because it reminds me a little bit of the Hanging City. Dude. Fucking land the damn thing. Yeah, I can. Let's look at the log. That's right. Uh, let's also refuel. There it is. Okay, Brittle Hollow. Okay, so the one I'm on is Timber Hearth. So it looks like the next one over should be that's not a pairing, should be Brittle Hollow, if I'm reading that correctly. Yeah, because that's the ocean one, and I believe, well, could that be the Sun Station, or what used to be Dark Bramble? Yeah, all the cracks tell me the next one over is... Oh, we gonna die. So this one should be... Oh. With the open doors and everything. wonder if this would... Oh, God. I wonder if this works just like the other one.
basically as soon as the planet is in our sights we go Yep, this is the people bringing the stuff from the Black Hole Forge. Yeah, we've read all that before. Okay, pick your direction. This one has a below ground entrance that really doesn't do anything for us. did absolutely nothing. Unless... Oh, like down there, do you think? Or right here? Okay. We shall do that. Okay making progress on this mystery. Now, I know we have time, because we can't access those towers right off the bat. Now my question is, there was something to do with the Black Hole Forge back on the, back in the Sunless City. Like there was this weird, if you guys remember, there was this weird thing where you could flip a switch and it looked like the Black Hole Forge just raised up out of the ground. I don't know if that makes a damn bit of difference or does frankly anything. I wonder if we should activate that before we... I mean, we have time. We have a lot of time to kill before we can get back to those towers. And the gun is most definitely the fastest way.
There's usually a sign here, but okay. God, that always just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to the observatory. Yeah, we're trying to go that way, actually. And I don't know if there's any way to do it now. I, mean, I could jump for it, but it's not going to end well. You know what? Down into the black hole, which I don't want to do. I'd rather crack my skull open and die. Thank you. Alright, I went in through the wrong side. Or I went to the wrong, um... Gateway thing. I went to the one that'll take me to the observatory, and I don't want that. Now, there's supposed to be an entrance to the Hanging City... Um, like, there's supposed to be a fast way to reach it from the South Pole, but I have never found it. There's supposed to be a chute or a path or something, from what I understand. I would really like to find it because that would make traveling to and from a lot easier. But like I said, I haven't the slightest clue. Uh, yeah, the main elevator is blocked by debris, but from what I understand, there's supposed to be a clear one. It's not like the elevator. It's like a passageway or something. But I could have misunderstood. Because, yeah, there's the passageway one that's blocked. And this one's pointing the wrong direction. So, yeah, I have no idea.
But from what I've heard, that's a big thing. A big thing with this game is a lot of areas will have like a what the hell just happened to me? A lot of areas will have multiple like little hidden entrances, like the one we found to get to the Sunless City. We have never activated this. I'm actually kind of curious how to. Oh well, back to my ship. Figure I might as well keep an eye out while I'm doing this. It's the observatory. We don't need that. No, there's a path over here. Okay, there. Well, there's a whole bloody thing there. I wanted to do, but okay. Ow. Okay, I've already done that. Basically, I'm just looking for the crossroads. That's what I'm looking for. takes us up right well, we don't want I don't think we want to go up from here do we oh that takes us straight into the black hole Yeah, that's just a... Oh, no, it's not. Cool. I just had to double check because I didn't want to end up in the black hole. Whoa. What the fuck you doing shutting off? Okay, so we're next to Ryback right now. 
or as close as we can get. the one Yeah, I believe that's the dark black hole forge right there. And our platform collapsed, son of a bitch. All right, so. To the sun! We'll run out of fuel and use all our air in a minute. <laughs> Just use up all our fuel. Yep, we'll be dead soon. <laughs> So, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to waste any time looking for another entrance. I honestly, now I'm starting to think there is no other entrance, so that's fine. I mean, the main reason I'm trying to mess around with the Black Hole Forge right now is... We can't get to... We're trying to get to the tower on... The Ash Twin, but the Ash Twin is, yeah, basically in. Oh Lord! Oh, I see you over there. Slight detour. <laughs>
Oh no. No, 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 no. You take me to that thing. I have a picture of it. He ain't going nowhere. It's the one thing that'll make me do a detour from the job we're trying to do right now. Is I want that quantum moon. So we have to make sure we're at its north pole. It... Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> that is cool. Don't go above the cloud cover. It looks like we have no choice. Oh, wait. This is pretty damn close to the North Pole. I wonder if pretty damn close is good enough. Doesn't hurt to check. No, I was there, damn it. Nope, not close enough. And we're at the North Pole. Okay. All right. Shut the door. Turn out the lights. I think we're here.
We are, but I'm not sure. Yeah, you keep that here for me. What the fuck is this? I think I gotta go... Yeah, there's nothing but rocks in this direction. I feel like I gotta follow the path. Like, this seems like a road to me. Oh! That is very true. What the fuck is that? Oh, we're just at its other pole. Okay. Uh. Hi? Solanum is still alive, is he? Uh, who, who are you? Oh, that was a mistake. Pick up our stone. Oh. Nice. I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. That is really cool. Who the hell are you? There are two tenets that know my philosophy. To seek out and to understand is our way of living. I am on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All know my my clan make this journey when we come of age. I hate to break it to you, dude. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum rune remains special to us as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. I want explanations, but I'm going to go ahead and... I am Solanum, a Nomai. My clan arrived in the star system before my birth, and we now call it home. Uh, let's keep explain. Hey, Horus, how's it going? Explain the quantum moon. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon's surface does now, while at the eye. From this, we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum, thus the eye is likely also quantum. Fair enough. Ah, uh, been grinding Martyr to get ready for end of this month, right? Is when it is where it got pushed back to. Oh crap! 
There is fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum move probably exhibits microscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect, as I imagine you've seen elsewhere in the star system. Oh yeah, that's right, end of July. For whatever reason, I thought it was just pushed back one month. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility. But what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. Ah, okay, it was just the patch. I imagine you've noticed the quantum moon changes in appearance depending on which location it is currently orbiting. For instance, the moon looks quite different when orbiting giants deep than it does when orbiting the hourglass twins. Because the quantum moon clearly changes in its different forms, the eye, being this moon's primary location, must be similarly malleable. From this, we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. Huh. Very nice. I have no idea where I'm at Inquisitor Martyr anymore. I haven't played that in a long time. Like many of the clan before me, I journeyed here to see the Quantum Moon's reflection of the eye. This is the closest any of us have come to seeing the eye. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Well, yeah, dude, you... Yeah, you, you, you kind of been dead a long time. Your whole species has been... Many in my clan have believed the eye called us to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe the eye was malevolent to have lured my clan to the star system, only to then vanish from them so completely. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the space game. Uh, with a Groundhog Day element, as there's a, like a time loop every 22 to 30 minutes. I can't remember exactly how much time. All right. Me. We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. Well, you've been in here a very long time. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I thought I put the quantum moon in there. Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try to enter it? Yeah. What do you imagine the effects of a conscious observer might be? Uh, let's throw you over here. Is this your first time on the quantum moon? It's my first time here. If you come here looking for answers, I hope you find them. I think I've done pretty much every combination I can. <laughs> Explain me. <laughs> He's like, what? I don't know you. I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and to find the eye of the universe. Are there any other stones? No? Well, dude, I don't. There are no other combinations, my friend, so I feel like I have to leave you here now. But you gotta say, I feel... Oof. I feel kinda bad just leaving the dude here. But I don't think there's anything else I can tell him or talk to him about. So now I think we go back and we try that ship thing you were talking about, Stahor. Launch the shuttle.
Oh, we're back at the North Pole. Oh. The shuttle doesn't appear here. It's only that. Yeah, the spire is the only thing that shows up here. Hmm. All right, then. Oh, it absolutely will not let me. <laughs> Unless I try it down here, where there's an actual hole in the cloud cover. Oh. Where the hell are we? Is that him? I mean, this looks like Timber Hearth. But they did say the quantum moon changes. So I think we just left. And not to the eye of the... And not to the eye of the universe. Yeah, we just came back to Timber Hearth. I don't think they'll let us reach the eye without using the vessel. I mean, I could try it. Not like I can't get back there really easily. Take it back. We just got to make our way back to the North Pole. Oh, crap. I think we have to use this. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's see if we can get back to Timber Hearth because it has the flat surface. Son of a doesn't this time. Go nowhere. Hmm. 
Hmm. It just puts me back at the pole. Yeah, it just keeps warping me back to that pole, huh? I see. Well, we're about out of time for that, so... Down we go. Oh yeah, we're dead. Which is the plan? Yeah, I was gonna say, if that didn't kill us... <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at the log and go back to Brittle Hollow. Go back to our other goal. Next time I do have the opportunity, though, Stahor, to go on to that moon, I will try that. Try to get to the North Pole and then try to trigger, put the photo and all that stuff down. I'll give it a shot. Sounds like it might work. Found a dead Nomai in a spacesuit near the South Pole. I met a living Nomai. Quantum Moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Okay, so, yeah. I don't know what else there is to explore at the Quantum Moon locator. We've been to the Quantum Moon. It doesn't look like there's anything else to do there. All right, so. The Black Hole Forge. I need to make more use of those waypoints. Ow! What the f... Well, that was lovely of my autopilot. <laughs> Get the fuck out the ship, dude. Don't trust autopilot. <laughs> what else is broken? Oh, wrong. I don't know why the hell I went there. All right, up. Let's go. God, I'm not so sure about trying to land in one of those fucking volcanoes. I want to, but man, that's going to take more precision flying than I have ever done in this game. That's the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, which does get me into the city. Is 
It's actually a relatively secure way into the city, if I remember correctly. Because I believe this will take us down to the crossroads. I always think it's taking me straight into the fucking black hole when I trigger this. Oh yeah, the Tower of Quantum Knowledge takes us the closest, it looks like. Yep. Not at all interested in eating marshmallows with you right now, Ryback. I got shit to do. Hanging City. Meltwater. It could go to Meltwater. If I remember correctly, the whole district for... I think Meltwater's higher up, isn't it? I think the Black Hole Forge one is actually inaccessible. Yeah, because of that right there. Because that thing's broken. down yeah we have to go down that's right there's really no other option oh god <laughs> noted don't jump if I remember correctly this over here was all the ghost matter right yes That's what takes us to the school area. This is the Meltwater District. There it is. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any way into that from here. So what we would need to do... Yeah, it looks like there's a teleporter to it. Okay. What we need to do is we need to get back to my ship. And I am honestly not at all certain how the hell we'd even pull that off. Like, I'd have to find something that takes me to the surface. And I'm not entirely sure there's any such thing from here. Oh, 
Oh, that is right. Into the hole. Yeah, we can activate the white hole station. Take it back to Brittle Hollow. Skim the surface back to our ship and try to get to the twins. Ooh, please don't kill me. I mean, if this does anything, it's convoluted as hell. Like, I am just taking shots in the dark here. Because <laughs> honestly, I'm not sure we will be able to jump off. Like, straight to... The Eye of the Universe. I have a feeling we have to use the ship. But I could be wrong on that. I am not at all positive. I feel like it'd be weird if the ship is there just for a little bit of lore. You know what I mean? The vessel. Okay, we're here now. What direction is our ship in? It's essentially the other side of the planet. Trying to avoid any chasms. Land. There you go. And now the Ash Twin. I feel like we have a fair... Oh, there's the... Nope, not, not this time, Quantum Moon. I want to... I really want to go to the Quantum Moon. Again, and try that, uh, try your idea, Stahor, but we're already in this process pretty deep. Where the fucking hell are the. Oh, I'm about as far away from them as I can get. Okay, now we gotta skim the Ash Twin as much as we can to try to find the appropriate tower. Okay, there's the Twin Towers for the... Yeah, we just saw that we're aligned right above the were. Yeah. Yeah, please don't. Please, please don't. You know what? I don't have time for this ship to decide what the fuck it's doing in terms of landing. Uh, I don't believe this is the one. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I 
I mean, I, I appreciate it, but my ship is over there. That was such piss poor timing. There we go. There's no way to get back to my ship. Once you're back on Timber Hearth, there's no way off. Son of a bitch, okay. Yep, we know it works. We just have to... We know that the tower we need is right next to the Ember Twins tower. So now we know it's the other way. Which I kind of figured, and then I just walked right across the middle and got teleported whether I liked it or not. And we also know you are 100% right. You have to be basically standing on the crystal. Okay. Now, whether or not what I'm doing with the damn Black Hole Forge does anything is a completely different story. Like, I might just be wasting my time with this Black Hole Forge thing. But I am curious, and I will test it out. And now I know exactly where the controls are located. that oh that was a shortcut in too yeah I remember this place well I'm dumb <laughs> we also now know the game isn't going to save your ass if you're dumb enough to leave your ship without <laughs> without your suit yeah there was a teleporter thing in one of these or a cave or something I remember seeing it when we made our way to Ribe. There it is. Yep. Look at that. It actually does put us right at the city. Which means we don't have to waste time at the White Hole Station. We can just cross these bridges and go back up the way we came. Oh, and it puts us right next to the Meltwater District, too. Well, there we go. Okay, we already know it's being lifted, so let's just get the hell up out of here. I'm pretty sure this bridge collapses very quickly.
Cool. I think we've found the better path. Yep, now we just gotta go through the roof. And to our ship. Okay, you guys are on the other side of the sun. Your orbit actually takes you this way. Okay, now we just gotta find the twins. Now we may have to wait for the uh, sand to get bled off a little bit before we can come in for a landing and check out. Hopefully this takes me to the Black Hole Forge. I honestly still have no clue if it really will. Yeah, none of those ruins are visible yet. That tells me we did our sequence very, very fast. But I also think I see our tower. And what I am gonna do... Yeah, I don't wanna land on the sand, dude. I don't think it's this tower. I think this is the same tower we made the mistake. Please just bloody well land. Oh my god, you piece of shit. Nope, I'm going to stay under this bridge. Okay, park right here. Okay. Yeah, let's check the log. Okay, it's actually, so we're here. We're right next to uh, Timber Hearth, so we need to go one more past Timber Hearth. And we're actually facing, I don't know who, which one that is, but that's the one we're facing right now with the spiral roof. So we need to go to the other side Come on. It's over here, so the second one passed the Twin Towers. So there's the Twins. That's Timber Hearth. Yeah. Let's 
park for a second. make sure yeah we just passed that one with all the rounded pieces so this really should be it Yeah, I really do think this is the one. Either way, I need to get away from the cyclone. Yeah, that has all the fucking... jagged edges I think uh, no I don't want to park on top of it because the uh, sandstorm goes right over the top of it as well and that'll suck me straight up to the other planet it's done it before <coughs> hmm See? Yep, the super rounded towers over there. So yeah, this is our one. This is our tower. It's not ready yet. Because, yeah, we have to be down there. However, we are allowed to chill in here. We just got to let some more time pass. There it goes. Yeah, you're probably right about that. Well, I'm standing on it, so... Let's hope this does it. Please? And not that disturbing shit. This is definitely new. Hey, there it is.
Black Hole Forge to the left. I know the Black Hole Forge is behind us, but we've never been able to reach this either. And I don't... Nope, I don't want to risk this. Yeah, that drops us down. Hey, that goes up to the surface. Fuck you. I finally made it here. I am not going back. Don't you be destroying this yet. Hey, I'll take that. The mask room. Which I still have zero fucking clue what to do with that. I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed at the heart of the Ash Twin project. I'm intrigued, love. Anyone, everyone on Ash Twin is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary and her design work is beautifully clever. The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Damn. Where am I taking this first pair of warp cores, and where am I taking the remaining pairs once they're ready? All of the black hole cores go to Ash Twin. They are for the warp towers being constructed there. My gratitude. In that case, Poke, Clary, I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Yarrow your regards. Poke, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin, just to make sure Yarrow receives it. The white hole cores are for the six warp receivers, which will all be on different astral bodies. Yarrow can give you their exact locations. Okay. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> Clary and Root, kindly tune the alignments on each pair of warp cores as I finish them. I've tuned the first pair to activate when its warp tower is aligned with Brittle Hollow. This will drastically speed future deliveries to Ash Twin. And before anyone comments, yes, I'm aware this reduces the distance between Yarrow and me. It looks like the towers on Ash Twin respond to only five alignments when there are six warp receivers. Is that a mistake? No, that's correct. Have you seen the schematic in the high energy lab on Ember Twin? It depicts which tower is meant to align which with which body, okay? Huh. That looks like I could actually ooh. Like I could actually place warp cores in there. Huh, really, is that all there is in here? You yeah, know, I've already translated that. Yeah, this looks like I could bring warp cores from, well, it's broken first of all, so probably not a good idea. Huh, okay. Interesting. Well, we made our way in here. I'm not sure it makes much of a difference. Huh. That was weird. These are the classrooms. Well, I want to go back to my ship. But I don't think that's going to happen, so what we're going to do is I'm going to find the ghost matter and straight up murder our dude. I know all about the ghost matter. I want the ghost matter. Ah, 
fucking hell. Ah. Cannot tell you how much I start to hate coming to the White Hole Station. Just use all your goddamn fuel, dude. Or crash into Dark Bramble. That works, too. There we go. Now, let's look at the log. And I think I just realized why whenever we get shown the mask room, only two are active. One's active for me and one's active for the guy on Giant's Deep. I don't know if we'll ever go into the mask room. Okay, so that's finished. So the advanced warp core was successfully forged for installation, but we don't have it. However, there's more to find in the Sunless City. We still haven't been to the Sun Station. And we have to go explore the vessel, okay. All right, that's interesting. All right, well, for now, though, that's all the time that I have for today. So thank you, everybody, for dropping by the stream. And I will see you guys for uh, tomorrow's stream, hopefully. Uh, I'll definitely be here. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, and I hope you guys have a good day.